I am Hannele Niemi. I am professor of education at the University of Helsinki in Finland. At that moment I am a visiting scholar at Stanford University. That's my third time being here. And I have worked more than 30 years in teacher education and work with teachers in Finland and also globally in Europe and other continents. So very often people come to Finland and ask me why Finland has become so successful education country. And they would like to have very often only one reason for our success. And then they ask also Maybe the one reason is free lunch, warm lunch every day you served to your students at every level of education. I can say that yes, that can be one reason, but there are so many overlapping reasons. What I called as educational ecosystem. And what are those major features that form educational ecosystem. I would like to mention five of them. And one, the first one, is that teachers are treated as professionals. In Finland we have very high-level teachers who have capacity to take leadership in education and they have a role of autonomous professional and they are responsible to plan lessons, use different methods, but also they have to make choice how they want to design local curriculum and also what kind learning material they use and what kind assessment methods they use. So they have a lot of freedom, but they have also a lot of accountability roles. So why we can give so much freedom to our, te our teachers? I think that it's the second feature of educational ecosystem, and it is high-level teacher education. In Finland, every teacher must have a five-year academic program, which is, if we call them as terms of degrees, bachelor degree and master degree, which means that they have also postgraduate education. And that is combination of practice and theory. They must have clinical supervised teaching practice, but also very demanding amount of studies related how to do research in educational studies. And they have to make and write their master thesis, which is one piece of authentic study. They have to set research questions. They have to make their choice how they get answer to their research questions. We hope that they can learn to become analytical teachers, critical thinkers, pedagogically thinking teachers. So after this teacher education, they have capacity to take that leadership role. Also in teacher education time, they have to find whom they are as a teachers and how they would like to develop education. So why it's so important to have that kind of role of reflective and critical pedagogically thinking teaching profession? In Finland we have very strong inclusion principle at all levels of education. Teachers teach in mixed ability groups. They face the whole society in the same classroom. We are not streaming and tracking students, 
But what we want to give is very high and very extended level special need support for the for students. That means that they students in classrooms they have special support, but then they also have all the time connection their own peer groups and own normal classroom. They can have support, but they are not excluded from the normal school life. So teachers need very high understanding how to help students who have learning problems. And that must happen in time that they can really help students to achieve learning outcomes. So th this special need education idea and inclusive ideology, it's also related to the fourth factor in educational ecosystem. And that is how to create flexible structures for education. I mean that students have always opportunity to continue their learning and education, even though they fail at certain level. So the whole educational system from preschool until adult education are constructed in such a way that every level helps students to get learning capacity to, to continue their education in the next level. Which means that they must have also quite a lot learning to learn skills and teachers support them to find their own way to learn. So flexible structures means that you can continue your learning and hopefully you can find also your personal path in your learning career. But then the fifth one is that in Finland we don't have any kind of standard arts testing. We have evaluation system, teachers have to assess students, that's more formative assessments. They try to identify what kind of problems students have, but then they only support them. And nationally we have also evaluations, but that's mainly sample-based. And the main purpose is that they provide information how to improve the educational system. We call that enhancement-led evaluation system. And that means that we trust teachers, we hope that they can take their responsibility to support different learners. So then they have also more freedom in classrooms. We are not ranking schools, we are not ranking teachers, and only we want to help to find out how to improve teaching and learning in schools. So I think that these five things, autonomous professionals, teachers, high level teacher education, strong special need education, flexible structures, no standardized testing, these are the main features of ecosystem in education in Finland.